This video is made possible by Invato Elements. Download anything absolutely free for 7 days. Check the first link in the description. Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. Let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. I am calling it Custom Text Animation. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution at 60 frames per second. You are free to use your own settings. Now go to the tools and select the text tool. I'm using the Montserrat font and choosing the font weight to bold. Also, my font size is 150 pixels. Now click on the screen and start adding your text. Eject from the typing box and align your text into the center. I am making it in lower caps. Let's change the weight to extra bold, and this is how it looks. Align it to the center, and now I am going to add text animation. Open your text layer, and here we have this animate option. Simply click on it, and you can see different properties for animating your text. Let's click on this enable per character 3D option so that we can animate the text in 3D. Now grab the move tool, and we will use it for animating our text. Right now if you open your text layer, you can see we don't have any animation right now. So click on this option, and then choose the position. It will add this position property for animating the text. Let's change the Y position value to 200 pixels. Now open the range selector, and change the offset value to negative 100%. Make sure you are at the first frame, and add a keyframe to it. Then go to around 2 second position, and change the offset value to 100%. And this is how the animation will look. Now open advanced, choose the shape to ramp up, and change the ease high value to 50%. It will make the animation smoother. Let's change the value to negative 50%, and this is how it looks now. Now click on add, go to the property, and choose rotation. Let's add one more property here. This time I am adding the scale. Now change the scale value to 0%, and this is how it will look now. You don't have to add a keyframe on the scale. Let's change the Y rotation value to 140 degrees, and it will add some rotation to it. In case you think the animation is a bit slower, you can always bring the keyframes closer, for increasing the animation speed. And this is looking much better. Let's play with the rotation values to get a different look. Again click on add, and this time, add anchor point. Here change the Y anchor point value to around 350, and then change the Y position value to 0. And this is looking even better. Now change all rotation values back to 0, so that we can see the anchor point effect clearly. This is looking better. Let's play with the rotation values, and see which one looks better. There are many options you can do just by playing with this rotation, and every time you will get a different text animation. Now I am changing the anchor point value to 500, and it will look like this. Change the ease low value to 50%, and it will make it better. Now I am going to add some shape lines to it. Before moving to the next step, let's quickly take a look at Invato Elements. Download unlimited After Effects templates, logo music, background music, 
sound effects, fonts, stock footage, web templates, mockups, and more. Visit the first link in the description, and download anything for free for 7 days. Make sure to unselect any selected layer, then go to the tools, and select the pen tool. Please note, that my fill is set to none, and my stroke is set to a solid color. Let's use this white color for it, then change the stroke value to 5. Now start creating a curve like this. Of course, you can use your own design. I think I need to change the stroke value to 10, to make it a bit thicker. Let's rename it as line animation, and then open it. Here you will find the add button, simply click on it, and choose trim paths. Open trim paths, then go to the first frame position, and change the end value to 0%. Here add a keyframe on the start, as well as the end. Then go to the 1 second position, and change the values to 100%. Right now I cannot see any animation, we just need to grab the start keyframes, and place them a few frames forward. You can make the stroke length bigger or smaller, by adjusting the keyframes distance. And this is looking much better. Now select all keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Check the animation, and this is how it looks. Perfect. If you think the line animation is a bit slow, then bring the keyframes closer, to make it faster. Nice, I like this timing. In case you want a different line animation, you can always grab the pen tool, and adjust the path of this shape animation. Let's minimize this layer to get some room. Now select this layer, then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the roughen edges. Apply it onto the layer, and it will add some rough edges to this path, and it will look like liquid. Now select this line layer, and place it right here using the shift, plus up arrow key on your keyboard. Let's make one more duplicate of it, then right click on it, go to the transform, and choose flip vertical. Then again right click on it, go to the transform, and choose flip horizontal. It will flip this line animation. Now we just need to align the position, as well as the timing of this layer. Use the shift, plus arrow keys on your keyboard, to change the position. Now select the pen tool, and adjust the path of it. Check the animation, and this is looking much better. Now I want to make the animation out. So go to around the 3 second position, select your text layer, and split it using the shift plus D. Let's call it monster out. Then open this top text layer, then text. Here you will find animator 1. Open it, then range selector 1, and then advance. Here change the shape to ramp down. Now grab these keyframes, and place them right here. Check the animation, and now we are done. Thank you for watching this tutorial, I will see you in the next one. Till then, good luck, and peace.